Thank you so much for joining us today. It would be my pleasure to show you the most important three steps to dominate the first page of Google. What we're trying to do here is to increase your sales fast, but without breaking the bank. So let's just get started. So what is the best place that have worked for you in the past to generate leads? Uh, has it been word of mouth? Has it been marketing, radio, TV, online? Um, let me answer this question. What is the ideal uh, place for most businesses to generate and find new leads and clients? Every industry is, is different, but this is for the majority of the businesses that we know of. So 91% of consumers use search engines like Google, Bing, and YouTube uh, to make buying decisions. When was the last time you walked into a furniture store and you saw a couch or a laptop and you decided to buy it on the spot? We always want to read reviews and compare pricing. And we use search engines to do that. You can even go as far as viewing reviews on YouTube uh, and things in that matter. 75% of users never scroll past the first page of search results. Why is that? That's like the majority. Um, I believe that we, we do have this thing in the back of our minds that we think that if it's not on the first page of Google or YouTube or Bing, it's not good enough. Like I want to find the best of the best. And that's why most of the searches do not pass page one because we trust in the opinions of search engines like Google. And 43% of all searches happen on Google are, uh, have a local intent. What does that mean? When we actually look for a product or service, we usually know two things. First, what do we want? So accounting service. Uh, and then the location in Toronto or used cars in Markham. This is usually the, the pattern of the way that we search for products and services. So more than 40% of all of these products and services uh, search queries included a local intent on Google. And 78% uh, of location-related uh, mobile searches, so when the location and the, the search results is coming from a mobile device or a user that is on the go and want to find something, they usually result in an offline purchase or an offline store uh, visit uh, so they can check out the products and talk to the salespeople. So this is the majority of everyone. We can see very clearly that nine out of the 10 uh, go online to find information on search engines like Google and Bing and YouTube. All right. So after knowing this, this kind of piece of information, are you using your resources correctly? Is your digital marketing working for you? Uh, is the time you spend a lot on social media and Facebook, but it has not had the return of investment? Have you invested heavily in web design, but did not budget for ongoing ads or SEO? These are the type of questions that you need to ask yourself. But I'm here today to kind of uh, help you and point you to the most important three steps to dominate the first page of Google and actually increase your sales without breaking the bank. And I truly understand that 43% uh, of business owners don't have time. Nobody has an extra hour on their day. And more than 47% of business owners have no experience when it comes to digital marketing. And I'm very fortunate that uh, my career and what I do in life is that. So I'm fortunate to know these things, and it helped me a lot to grow our business to have customers and clients on every content in the world right now. So let's get started. So on the first page of Google, there is mainly two results um, or two sections of uh, results. The paid advertising at the top, and we know what that is. You pay per click, so your ad only shows when someone is interested in your service uh, that is searching for you. And the other part we call local or organic results, and this is the type of results that we do not pay for it, but Google uh, ranking algorithm decides who's the best uh, person to take those rankings. So let me tell you something about the first page of Google. Uh, the first page of Google is, is mainly what we consider or what we call universal search results. So there is a seven verticals that you can rank on the first page of Google uh, today. So it's not just once. I don't want you to just appear once on the first page of Google. I want you to appear twice or three times. And I'm going to show you examples on how to do that. So we have the ads. We have you can rank as a web page, as maps, images, videos, news, and shopping. And basically, 
the far majority of the chances that you have to rank on Google, six to one, is on SEO. And this is kind of where you weigh your resources and budget to see how can you dominate that first page. And it's not just actually six to one, it's actually more. There are some verticals that they did not share with you in this uh, 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 slide called featured snippets. So featured snippets when you are very relevant to a search query and Google kind of outline and present your uh, results in, in a big box, it looks like the answer from God. So this, for example, for one of our clients, uh, Grapevine Solution, there are a phenomenal uh, software for HR companies, and this is a very uh, uh, important uh, search query, what to ask in, in, in appraisal questions. And their answer is taking almost 25% uh, 25, 25 off the first page of Google. This is true domination. Another example for one of our clients, Expedator, he's a, he's a wine shipper in the States, and his result is appearing on uh, uh, also a feature snippet, as you can see, over ranking 4.5 million other results. This is uh, a true quality content and true quality SEO as well. Uh, and there are other types of feature snippets, like for events and recipes. So there's actually uh, more than seven, eight uh, opportunities for you to rank on the first page of Google. And, and this is really where I want you to start open up, up your mind that the chances is not just as one plus one equals two here. There, there is a big play, and digital marketing is a, a numbers game here. So where to put, your, to, you put your time and budget, where to invest? Because as a business owner, I share the same with you. Uh, you only have resources, sorry, uh, uh, time and money. That's the only two things that you're playing with here as a, a, a business owner. So let me help you out and answer this question uh, um, in, a, in a simple form. So to me, SEO is like buying a car. You buy a car, you pay, uh, uh, the, the cost is $20,000, so you're gonna pay $1,000 for the next two years or whatever, and after that, you will still have the car and still get the mileage out of it, right? A car usually lasts seven to 10 years, right? So if you see your business, existing in the next three to five, seven years and surviving, this is something that you should really put your eyes on. But on the other hand, uh, buying ads is like leasing a car. It's like you're getting from point A to point B and you paid the fees for it and that's it. As soon as you get out of the car or as soon as you stop the lease, you have no car. So in search engines, as soon as you stop paying for advertising, you're back to whatever page nine or 10 or two that you were on. The, the two does not kind of uh, uh, imply in each other's. So I am not here to tell you how to use a car. Uh, you're the uh, most uh, intelligent person for knowing this industry and knowing your business. And, and you have done a lot of work and experience in the past. You have to look at your business and determine your short and long-term priorities. So, but here's the, the biggest hurdle for, for, for small businesses. Even if you, uh, I'm sure a lot of you kind of know this, this, what I just explained or heard about the difference between SEO and, and, and PPC in the past, but that is actually not the main problem for business owners. 60% uh, of business owners don't know whether their marketing is working for them or not. Uh, and this is pretty shocking. Sometimes when we onboard new clients, and you tell me what they have done in the past, it sounds like they, they had a, a thousands of dollars holding them in their hands and stepping to the balcony and just letting them go. Some of them land in the right spots. There, there, there have been a growing business and successful business, and, and some have landed in the wrong spot. But, but the problem is that you don't know even which dollar that landed in the right spot. So I advise you to get smart data. It's very, very important to know what's working and what's not working for your business. All right, so let's start with those three steps. I'm going to give you three uh, short advices to basically get uh, and, and try to formulate the strategy that I just talked about. So those are three areas that you can put the priorities uh, of your resources and money towards, or if you have done already one of them, you can skip to uh, uh, the next step. So step number one. Let's fix the foundation. We cannot, talking, uh, we cannot be talking about building a high-rise 
uh, a condo here and if we don't have the proper foundation or we have like a, a one-story house that we planning to build a, a high-rise building on top of it does not work and this is where I kind of find that the most of the problems to especially small business um, they, they don't either choose the, the right platform to build their websites on or they don't have the right resources or the cost was too much and they decided to go on a cheaper route so we have done a case study. We, we actually offer free SEO audits uh, for anyone that who would like this. So we have actually ran more than 2,000 uh, uh, scans for our uh, uh, clients, but we just kind of took the, the, the most recent uh, ones of them, the, the most recent 1,000 audits we have done. And let me share with you what are the main problems that I found in the foundations of uh, a business website. All right. The average all of everything, the, each audit measures about 25 points in each website. So the, the average for all the site performance is 54%. If you're in a high school, that would be a fail. But let me give more depth into just one single number. 439 websites scored below than 30% on site performance. So more than or close to a third really had a really bad platforms or major issues uh, that the website was not either functioning or had a lot of errors onto it. 82% of sites had technical issues, and, and this is not a surprising. Uh, if, you was, if you use a, a, a platform like WordPress or any open source platform, uh, there are usually some technical issues here and there, but it's, it's, it's the majority of websites have those kind of technical issues. Again, this is, this is not something that you want if you want high-ranking uh, on Google, but this just shows you that the majority, the far majority of websites do have technical issues. Uh, 70, uh, sorry, 76% uh, of uh, sites do not rank on the first page of Google. And, and this is really when it starts to sink uh, to know that majority of the people who are actually looking for this and asking us for audits don't even rank on the first page of Google for a single keyword. So there, there is a huge uh, uh, um, gap in knowledge, I find, and, and, and you have to kind of either learn how to do it or trust someone to do it because there's a lot of fake promises and, and, and maybe not as good quality companies that you would expect doing SEO right now in the market. 41% of sites are unsecured, and, and this is one of the things uh, that we, we notice a lot even after Google officially announcing that site security is a ranking factor. So um, here you go. Uh, average of 26 out of uh, 100 page speed uh, uh, of uh, the site speed of a website. So that is more than eight seconds on mobile. That is like, think about the last time you went to a mobile website trying to book a ticket or view something and the website took more than eight seconds to load. What do you do? You leave. Uh, of course, 64% um, of sites are not mobile friendly or have very low user experience score. Uh, that is a big number, especially right now that a lot of the majority actually right now uh, of web traffic come from mobile. Actually, for the first time in history, uh, mobile traffic has surpassed desktop traffic. And I'll talk more about that uh, in the coming slides. 31% uh, have toxic or low quality backlinks. So the, these people either have done um, um, bad practices in the past or used an um, offshore company to build links for them and while it worked in the past, uh, do not work right now. So as I said, you are more than welcome to contact us and request a complete, I think it's nine or 10 page audit report for your website for free uh, no obligation. We would love to hear from you, and you can get in touch with, a, with us to get that audit. All right. So this is what we mainly found um, when we talked about the main errors and the average score was 45, uh, sorry, 54%. We started to analyze what are the main reasons for, for this to happen. What is the majority of business owners are suffering from? So the most common reason we found is that uh, it, businesses are using an outdated site management solution 
or in outdated WordPress themes and plugins. And, and this is something, one-third of the websites in the world is built on WordPress, and, and you guys all know of the, uh, some of the issues you might have to go through if you don't have a proper IT um, platform or a system backing up your website when you use these uh, kind of softwares. Uh, the other thing, uh, that most of the CRMs that are being used are not SEO friendly. Um, actually, most of the drag and drop uh, kind of website builder solutions that are right now in the market, um, anywhere between $5 and like $50 or $100, majority uh, of these kind of platforms are not SEO friendly. And we find that a lot uh, in the real estate business. Uh, I teach at the Toronto uh, Real Estate Board and we meet a lot of realtors and I found that majority of the realtors' websites that they use uh, are not search engines friendly, and actually some of them uh, are not able to work or optimize even if you wanted to. Um, there's a lot of duplicated content, and this is, again, either because um, the business have used uh, bad practices in the past or they're using a platform, as I said, for, for example, for real, real estate websites, uh, when you go buy like a website for like fifty dollars or a hundred dollars, they kind of pre-build pages for you. And we actually found in some cases that some of the duplicate content on on one of our clients was duplicate with another three thousand web pages. So imagine what you would be walking yourself into some of those platforms. Those sites due to shared hosting platform. A, a majority, the far majority of those uh, content platforms or the choices that small business go to when they decide on their hosting provider, usually around, again, 5 and 50 or $100, and majority of those services uh, are shared hosting platforms. So if another website is taking, uh, um, uh, having a lot of traffic, they're, they're sucking from the resources of everyone on that platform, and that makes your website like super uh, slow, especially on mobile. Outdated or black hat SEO practices. We, well, we're, we did not find that as, as much as we expected, but there has been a lot of scams in the market, and a lot of the uh, clients or some of the clients we onboarded uh, had some of these issues, and that was always our priority number one when we onboard an SEO client is to get rid or disavow all of these kind of toxic backlinks and, and start as, as fresh and clean as much as possible. So this is step one. Just to recap, we're talking about foundation. If we, you are envisioning your business to be around for the next three to five years and surviving and, and you're listening to my next webinar from Hawaii, uh, this is something you need to really um, have a deep discussion with your team partners and address the platform, address the foundation of where is your website is built on today. All right, step number two. Let's just get the ball rolling. You fix the foundation, you have a nice uh, uh, house, and, and you built a nice condo, and you want to start inviting people to come and visit and start the sales kind of process. Then you go straight to uh, doing some Google uh, advertising or some PPC on Bing or YouTube, uh, depend on what the products that you have. The far majority of people are using uh, major popular search engines like this. All right, so two areas that you need to focus your attention on. I don't want you to, to advertise everywhere and the whole nine yards. There's only two areas that I want you to start with, especially if you have a limited budget. Focus on mobile traffic. If you don't have thousands of dollars a month uh, to do PPC or, or Google ads, I don't want you to open your ads to everyone. I just want you to open your ads to mobile people only. And Let's take a look at, at this case study in front of us. The actually more than six, or average of 60% of most of the industries are starting their research online on mobile, right? So if you're in the food and beverage, in the health, in the news, in the lifestyle, automotive, retail, travel, real estate, a lot of these areas are now, all the searches are starting from mobile devices first. So if you don't have thousands of dollars right now and you just wanna get the most important quality leads, just open your campaign to mobile traffic only. Um, and this is the point that I was talking about. Average of 61% of searches now starts from mobile, right? So we expect a lot from those mobile devices we carry around us, and you need to be mobile, mobile, mobile perfect. The second area that I would like you to focus on is to focus on local traffic. 
advertise all across the country, uh, especially if, if you're known in, in, the, in the area that you're around or uh, you cannot travel far. So focus on those kind of search terms that actually include the city name uh, or the best of the city name. These are kind of the search queries that will be more likely to convert and become very good leads for you, especially if you are in a brick and mortar uh, uh, platform. 50% uh, of local mobile searches result in a store visit within one day. Uh, th this is a case study from 2014, as you can see, and I expect that number to be more. So uh, this is a really good start for you to focus on mobile traffic only and local traffic only. On average, a business that does not have a mobile strategy loses about $60,000 a year. This is a number that I don't want to see small business hurt but I want to see them increase their return on investment and invest their money more wisely. So I want to share some case studies from um, actually some of our clients. We work with uh, Remax Canada, and we did a case study for three of their agents. And this is what we, we kind of found. We found that 87% of the uh, uh, lead generated came from phone calls, right, especially in the real estate. Uh, all you want to know is, like, um, uh, tell me more information. How much can, can we close? Can we put an offer? These are people that are really serious. Start to use mobile to find the information they need about real estate. The other thing we found that 76% of the lead generated were qualified leads. So when we start to onboard uh, the, 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 the clients, we ask them what the type of lead they want. They want rent. They want uh, someone, buyers or sellers, what areas. And then we actually listened to every phone call and we viewed every lead that we generated for them for three months, and we found that 76% actually do meet that criteria that they're looking for. Some of them will be tire kickers, of course, uh, but the far majority are will be good leads. And the average call duration that came from those leads were six, uh, six minutes and 50 seconds, almost seven minutes phone call. That is a really good phone call. And do you know how much that seven minutes phone call cost? Just take a second and, and put a number in, in your head while I get a sip of water. All right, $61, that's it. Some realtors are willing to pay up to $500 or $1,000 in some cases for a good referral. Uh, if you have someone that is looking to buy a home and you refer them, they are willing to pay that much money. So not even uh, almost to 10% uh, of that cost. Another case study from um, the, um, remember the wine shipper that I told you guys about that ships uh, uh, important uh, wines and, 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 and collections and, uh, of wines? So uh, this is kind of a case study that we've been working with Activate for for more than a year now. So you can actually, this is a, a case study that will show you an over time effect of how we optimize and how can actually real results can look like. So the Average cost of a qualified lead, we're talking about an, uh, uh, someone that is a, a VP or a CEO that have a collection of fancy wines and he wants to move from a city to a city. The average cost of that person to contact him is $86, let's say $87, right? Uh, it's, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but you're talking about a, a, a deal that is a good one, right? 25% is the average lead to client closing rate. So uh, the owner of the business, his name is Adam, and he's such a brilliant uh, young man and, and very professional in what he does. And 25, if you close 25% of everyone that comes to you, that is the average that any business or any successful business wants to be at. And that 25%, the average client of that 25% that comes place an order for an average of 3,200. So we're talking about a good size deal here, and it only costed uh, $87 to generate a lead. So if you wanna put this in, in, in ROI numbers and you're a numbers guy, then this is, uh, uh, his return on investment is 821% of his media buy. That's the return of investment. So every for every dollar uh, that he puts uh, on, on, on buying pay-per-click advertising or Google ads, his return of investment is 821%. That's quite amazing. All right, so step number one is building the foundation. 
Step number two is to get the ball rolling. Let's just start some ads. We have redesigned. We have fixed our technical issues. We have given it a mobile list. We, we ran some uh, uh, campaigns. We got some leads. We got the ball rolling, and our service is amazing, and it's actually selling. Then your step number three is to build for the future. Uh, we are fastly moving from technology to technology, and it's actually taken a shorter amount of time to adapt to new technologies. Um, think about the time it took between the radio and the TV, and then the fast, very short period of time of the Internet and mobile, right? Uh, this is how things are changing. And actually, Google is, is, is guiding us through kind of helping through understanding what's going on. And, and if you watch Google algorithm updates, you will know that one of the latest updates was called Mobile First. I remember that day I got a lot of phone calls and messages on LinkedIn of businesses that their, their ranking just dropped uh, because they, the, the, the ranking um, algorithm update um, did not find them compliant. And some of people lost up to like 60% of their traffic uh, and ranking that day. So this is one of the things that we really need to talk about. And to summarize mobile first is basically Google saying right now that it's only mobile experience that I care about. And they want all businesses to, when they, they, they think about their business online, they think about their business on, online on mobile first. And that's what the majority of the ranking algorithm are moving towards these days. So if you had a talk with someone and they told you that SEO is dead, actually it's, it's far from dead. And in and, and next few slides, I'm actually going to tell you and share with you um, how SEO could be uh, uh, one of the main keys uh, to growing your business in, in the very near future. So these are some of the key studies. I, I, I have a lot of webinars about SEO and how to do SEO, and we have our own SEO tools. Uh, there's a lot of um, hands-on training advice as well on that, so I don't want to take too much time on that. I just want to share uh, some uh, real case studies that show you what kind of difference uh, SEO can make to your uh, business. But you, you, you have to understand that this is a long-term strategy and to show results, it takes three to six months, right? So let's just share some of this information with you here. Dynamic Solutions is one of the most amazing uh, IT companies for support, and when we start working with them, uh, they had uh, not much average ranking for the amount of the keywords that they had on their website, and today they have more than 74 keywords ranking on the first page of Google, out of 120 keywords that we're tracking the analysis for. And you can see the ranking both measured from Toronto and Calgary. You can also see the amount of distribution of amount of keywords are on the first one and two pages as well. And 62% actually of all the keywords that we track now and we optimize for dynamic solution are right now on the first page of Google. People will pay so much money just to get five or ten keywords on the first page of Google. We're talking about 62% of all the keywords that Dynamics cares about that he's actually dominating the first page of Google. Here are some examples of uh, rich snippets uh, and structured snippets showing for a dynamic solution. So you can see that in this case, when you search for managed IT service uh, by cloud solution or benefits or any of those kind of uh, key, keywords, you will find that he's taking uh, ranking on the first page twice. One was a feature snippet, as I showed you how big those are, and another time, either number two or number one. So this is, you're talking about 30 to 40 percent of the real estate on, on, on the first page of Google. One client and one business is taking it. Uh, you can see other examples when it comes to locals. He's showing in the local maps, and he is also showing uh, uh, organically on that page. Another case study for, for uh, Expeditor, the wine shipping company, he had 79 keywords ranking on the first page of Google. In the U.S. and Canada and U.K., we just actually expanded to the U.K. Congrats, Expeditor. Uh, but let me show you what those factors and, and to rely back the audit. When, when we started working with, with Adam, um, his website was in a big mess and we had to redo everything. And just let me tell you how we are right now when it comes to SEO sites. Health is the website. Uh, is scoring 95%. The user experience is 85%. Uh, it's great if you pass 80. Google does have uh, a lot of like uh, 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 um, recommendations for it. And uh, 
we are actually also hosting and, and have a, a, a premium service hosting for this website. So now it's quoting 89% page speed, and this is quite amazing. And I want to remind you of what happened to the other businesses when the Google Mobile first update hit, right? Remember I told you about the messages I got on LinkedIn? This is actually what happened to Expediter. Uh, um, you can see his, his increase was, was very steady and around 10 to 15% a month. But as soon as Google Mobile first update hit, you can see the spike in ranking. His competitors are also winning, but you can see – how far the gap now between, between him and the next competitor. And he's taken more space and more real estate on the first page of Google. That is the whole idea uh, of this. Let me show you some of those and what do they look like. So wine shipping services, uh, over 164 million results. This is what Expediter ranking uh, uh, like. Here's another one for temperature control, the wine transportation. And on mobile, you can see it takes almost 90% or 80% of the, the, the search results uh, apart. So a majority of people will be just clicking on that there and then. Uh, and, and this is some of the things that you can really measure and track. And, and this last case study here will show you the return on investment and how they actually work. So Remington Medical Supplies, one of the uh, great companies for, for medical supplies, we increased their ranking by 427% since we start working with them. They were, um, according to our ranking tools, they were ranking uh, the, in the position, I think, 19 when we started with them, and now they are the third most competitive uh, 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 website in that market. And uh, the, the reason for that is that they rank for more than 100 keywords on the first page of Google, and that is because of good strategy SEO. Thank you so much for joining and hope you've liked the presentation.